giving. As we all know, as Christians, the devil is seeking our downfall. He wants us to become lawlessness just as he is. Why? Because of our salvation in Christ Jesus. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ now lives in me. If Christ now lives in us, we should discipline our flesh to be submissive to the things of the Spirit and never let the pollutions of the things of this world shake our faith. James chapter 4 verse 7 says, Resist the devil and he will flee from you. The big question is, how do we resist the devil? By conforming to God's word through obedience to his commandment. We are God's beloved in Christ Jesus who came to this world to die for you and me, to become sons and daughters, according to John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as receive him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, we should never allow the devil to threaten Christ's effort in us on the cross of Calvary by seducing us with the pollutions of the things of this world. First Peter Chapter 5, verse 8, remind us of the devil as a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. The things of this world is beautiful, but cannot be compared to that heavenly country prepared for the saint. We should begin to see things as God sees the things of this world. For God sees the things of this world as trash, according to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. The element and the things of this world will be burned up. We are walking the narrow way which leads to eternity. We should never be distracted from the faith. We should continue to focus on Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith, according to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. The devil is still active with his evil work, but we can conquer the devil and his evil work through Christ Jesus, who strengthens us, according to Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. The devil wants us to focus less on spiritual matters and place high value on physical materials of this world, which is about to fade away. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 3 asks us a great question. What profit has a man from all his labor in which he toy under the sun? My fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, the answer is nothing. Who is this devil deceiving people all about? The book of John chapter 4 verse 44 tells us the devil, who the devil is. He is a murderer. He is a liar. He continues to strive on a daily basis to get Christians to disobey God. The devil don't have a future destination to call home in heaven. We do. Neither on this earth. His internal destination is here, as we all know. The earth and its fullness was created for mankind to have dominion not for the devil, according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. As we strive on a daily basis to defeat the problems and challenges of this corrupt world, full of all kinds of sins that torment our soul every day, let us continue to focus on that heavenly country which Christ purchased for us with his precious blood. May the Lord of our Lord Jesus Christ continue to be a lamp to our feet and his word continue to be a lamp to our part as we join in our salvation life to reign with him in that heavenly country. If we have anyone who wants to put on Christ in baptism, or you have strayed away from the faith, I want to be restored. I encourage you to come forward as together we stand and together we sing.